In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy construction units from one feature to another feature using OpenPoint's copy and paste functionality. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the feature that has the construction units to be copied. So I'm going to click on this poll, and then I'm going to click on the construction units pane in the upper left-hand corner, and we can see what construction units are on this original feature. So it looks like we have one cross arm and one 30 foot class four pole feature on this particular pole. So what I'm going to do now is going to click on the copy button. And how this whole thing works is it's going to take everything um, that's in the construction unit pane. So as you can see, there's multiple construction units in this case, and then it's going to make a copy of those and put them into a template that I'm going to then be able to paste from. So I call this template clipboard and you can call it anything you want. And then I'm going to say make template and it says it already exists. Do I want to overwrite that? I'm going to say yes. And if it's a brand new one, you won't get that message. If it exists, then you'll see something like that. So now to paste that over to the other feature, I'm just going to click on that feature and then still inside of the construction unit pane, I'm going to click on paste and then I'm going to locate that same one I just created, the one called underscore clipboard. And then I'm going to click on that and then I'll add those construction units to it. Uh, but first notice that there's other um, templates in this particular list here. So you can have any number of templates and you can name them whatever you want. I'm just doing a quick copy and paste feature. After I'm done with it, I'm not going to need that anymore. I could delete it or I could just leave it there. However you want to do that. I usually use the same template name over and over again for just quick copy and paste work. But if there are things that you want to have recorded for long-term use, you can just give them a more useful name and then just leave them here. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the clipboard option there. And it's going to then prompt me for the CPR year, CPR district, and the station number. So it's literally wanting to, you know, copy and paste everything um, from the original construction units as possible. And so, uh, but if you want to, you can also override. And so in this case, I want to make this a 1980 pull and cross arm, and I'm going to give it a specific district. Now, if I didn't do that, it would leave the original CPR year. And for the district, it would actually uh, use the district where that feature is located in. So if you're going from one area of the map to another area of the map, it should figure out the district for you automatically. And then station number, it's going to pick that up from the poll that it is being copied to. So if you can see that here, the 401, um, 40410800 is the station number that's been automatically selected there. And I'm just going to click on create. And there you have it. It went and copied those construction units over. Uh, if you really needed it to actually do a cut operation where it removed the features from the original one, you'd have to go back to that and then delete those out manually.